Good evening, I'm Mrs. Anderson, and I'm the art teacher at the middle school. Since students rotate through the unified arts classes each marking period, exposing them to different areas for 10 weeks, we thought we'd create a short video to explain different aspects of the courses. The unified arts curriculum is comprised of music, fine arts, technology education, and computers. I, of course, teach fine arts. In the fine arts program, both seventh and eighth grade students expand upon the art skills and knowledge learned at the elementary level. Vocabulary words and critiques are part of each lesson and reproductions of famous works are referred to periodically. Students are asked to grade themselves using an art rubric. Grading is based on time on task, oral responses, craftsmanship, creativity, design elements, understanding, but most of all, effort. In addition to our general education classes, the middle school multiple disabilities class joins the art, music, and computer classes to work on modified lessons throughout the school year. You can see some of the student artwork on the Fort Lee District website in the many albums of the middle school photo gallery, as well as in our Intermedia publications. Intermedia is our art and literary club at the middle school for those students interested in honing their artistic and writing skills. Intermedia is also the name of our annual art and literary publication that is created by students at the Lewis F. Cole Middle School. The book features original art and literary pieces created by the seventh and eighth grade students at our school. For the past 47 years, the Lewis F. Cole Middle School has ranked as one of the top art and literary magazines in the country and has most recently earned a gold award from Columbia Scholastic Press Association for its excellence in art and literary pieces. All of our unified arts classes work on project-based design lessons. Using a hands-on approach, students create unified arts projects using math, science, language arts, and history in the varied lessons taught in our classes. If your child says that he or she does not have homework in unified arts, it's probably true. We expect our students to complete these lessons during class time when we have access to help them the most. Of course, any student that needs extra help is welcome to contact us during office hours or by email. Grace periods are given to those students who may need extra time to complete their projects due to unforeseen circumstances. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Larson, our computer teacher, and Ms. Marquez, our technology education teacher, who will give brief synopsis of their subject matters. Have a great evening. Hi, good evening. I am Mrs. Larson and I am the computer teacher for our seventh and eighth grade students. I've been teaching here at the middle school for the last 32 years. Throughout my teaching career, I've taught geography, civics, and computers. I have also been an advisor to the yearbook club, the computer club, and bias busters. I presently am the advisor to the computer club and co-advisor to the student ambassadors program and a member of our intervention and referral services team. Computer class is part of our unified arts program. In computers, our seventh and eighth grade students are encouraged to explore, problem solve, and create by completing a variety of project-based lessons and assignments. Projects are often used to reinforce content area curriculum. Topics covered by both grades include online safety, digital etiquette, cyberbullying, coding, appropriate use, plagiarism, and how to conduct effective searches and evaluate sites accuracy. The students create products using common product productivity tools, Google Apps for Schools, Microsoft Office software, and other web-based applications. I use a total point system to grade students' work. All research assignments and projects are assigned points. Grading is based on understanding of topic or application, time on task, creativity and design, and of course, always effort. All work is considered classwork. This way I am available to assist all students with their work. If extra time is needed, students may attend extra help meets during our office hours. No work, no homework is usually given and students are expected to finish their work during the class time or allotted office hours after school. If you have any concerns or questions, please feel free to contact me through email at klarson at flboe.com. Thank you and have a great evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Back to School Night at Lewis F. Cole Middle School. My name is Ms. Marquez. 
I am the new technology education teacher. I've been teaching at Lewis Apco Middle School for the past five years, and this is my first year moving into something different, something new, which I'm super excited about. I am also the advisor for robotics. We have gone to the first Lego League competition twice and have won the Core Values Award both years in a row because our kids work so great together. Just to give you a little bit of a synopsis for technology education, we will be working through project-based learning, meaning hands-on as much as possible. Some of the topics that we will cover will include STEM, computers, and if I can, I definitely want to include robotics into our curriculum this year. When I say project-based learning, that goes across the board for all of our UAs, including art and computers, where work is done in class for the most part because us teachers, we want to be able to be present for students who have questions and to help guide them through the process of whatever project they're working on. In Tech Ed, we teach the engineering design process, which the students have been learning about recently. And I'm sure you may have seen some of your kids throwing around paper airplanes, and now we're building paper towers and paper book supports. So that's kind of our beginning stages as to where it is that I want to take this program. Next topics are going to include renewable and non-renewable resources and project-based learning as well with that, and we're going to see what we can come up with. If any extra time is needed for any assignments under special circumstances, students will definitely be allowed to have extended time so long as it's communicated to the teacher. All grades are located in Genesis, and all work is distributed through Google Classroom. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out and ask, and I'd be happy to help with anything that you need. If you need any resources or materials, I do plan to let the students know ahead of time what they need. Feel free to reach out if you don't have access to one of those materials. My email address is kmarquez at flboe.com. I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions, and have a great night, guys. Thanks.